Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy. Now today's video is going to be my November TBR and the first group of books I'd like to talk about are the ones that I have um, put on hold at, uh, at my library through Overdrive. Anyways, these books are probably going to become available this month and the first one I'd like to talk about is called Anger is a Gift. Now this is a YA contemporary. Now this book is about a gay teen whose father has been murdered by an Oakland police officer. Uh, this book deals with racism and a community living with a system of oppression. Now I've heard nothing but positive reviews on this book. Uh, I was told this is actually a great book for anyone who is a fan of The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. And I read that at the beginning of the year and I absolutely loved it. Uh, I also read too that it's uh, a book that has a lot of diversity and will make you feel a lot of emotions. And one comment I've heard a lot of that I actually thought was kind of interesting and that's that some people are saying that it will make you feel very uncomfortable, um, especially if you're white. And the next book I'd like to read is called A Very Large Expanse of Sea. And this again is a YA contemporary. Now this story takes place um, post-11 in 2002 and we follow our main character who is a Muslim teenager and it just follows her growing up and her struggles that she faces after uh, the events of 9-11. Some comments I've heard from other people is that it is a very hard-hitting, a heartbreaking and an emotional story. And another book I'd like to read this month is called The Life She Was Given. This story starts off in 1931 and there's a little girl by the name of Lily who's actually being locked in her family's attic and she's not allowed to leave. Her mother tells her it's for her own protection and if she was to leave the house and people were to see her that they'd actually be scared of her. Uh, but then one day she's actually um, brought outside and she is sold to the circus. Now I'm sure there's a little bit more to the story but you know that's basically the gist of it. Now this is another book that I've heard a lot of great reviews on and I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. Another book I'd like to read this month is called Sadie. Um, it's a YA contemporary um, mystery thriller. In this story we follow Sadie um, whose sister has been murdered and she decides to go out and try and find some answers and find out what happened. Uh, but in the process Sadie actually goes missing herself. And then one day a radio host hears Sadie's story um, and decides that he's going to try and figure out what happened to her. So the story is actually told, I believe, through two different perspectives. Um, one coming from Sadie, and it kind of, you know, explains what's going on with her. And then the other perspective is through the radio host, and it's done through podcasts. Now I was told this story is amazing on audiobook, so that's how I plan on reading it this month. Uh, I was also told this is a very chilling and disturbing story. And another book I'd like to read this month is called Sleeping Giants. And this is actually a sci-fi. Uh, it's a sci-fi which, for me, uh, is really stepping out of my comfort zone. But I've heard so many great reviews on it that I thought I'd check it out. Uh, I also plan on listening to this one on audiobook as well. Uh, again, because I just... I heard so many people say that it's just so much better through the audiobook than the actual physical book. So in this book we follow um, a young girl who is out riding her bike and then she falls into this um, gigantic hole. And when she gets rescued by the firemen, they actually discover that she's laying um, not necessarily in a big hole but it's on this big metal hand. Now fast forward 17 years, um, obviously this young girl is now grown up. Um, she's become a physicist and she's making her mission to discover um, where this hand came from and what the story is behind it. So those are all the books that I want to read through Overdrive. The next books I want to talk about are uh, the ones I still need to read for my birthday reading project. I know I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over again in these videos but I am getting caught up. I was able to read eight books last month. Obviously they're not all for my birthday reading project, but um, I'm going to say at least half of them were. So I'm slowly getting caught up, but anyways, I still need to read Little Monsters. Uh, I'd like to read Forbidden. Um, and actually, I don't know if you can see the bookmark there, but I have started this one. I still need to read The Thirteenth Tale, The Librarian of Auschwitz. 
um, Cradle and All, Maud's Line, The Immortalist, and The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. And I'd also like to pick my next three books for my birthday reading project. So I'll do that right now. Again, I'm only picking three. Okay, and the first one here is Dark Matter. Book number two. Oh, good. Shadow and Bone. I've been waiting a long time to read this one, so pretty excited about that. And actually, it works out perfectly because I'm pretty much done work now. Well, three more weeks and I'll be done work, but it'll give me enough time to actually be able to read the whole series. Okay, and book number three is Love and Gelato, which is actually another good one because I think I can get through that one pretty quick. So those are all the books that I like to read for November. Uh, again, I seem to be very ambitious, we'll say overly ambitious with my reading, but like I said, I'm almost done work for the season, which I will go from working like 50, 60 hours down to like zero. So that opens up a lot of free time for reading. Uh, if you've read any of these books, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.